people lovely people once again welcome back to my youtube channel and today's tutorial i want to show you how to, you can actually convert figma project to code so you want to convert this into atm or whatever css flutter whatever i'm going to show you how to do that like subscribe if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos so this is basically the entire figma project here so this is a project you can see everything over here is responding these are separate files and we want to actually convert this into html okay so let me show you the final thing you can see over here the final work over here is dot html so this is basically an html file which we can work with so this is the page over here i'm able to open this within my browser okay and if you look at my file over here as well if you open this it's going to work organized you can see i have my index page i have my image folder everything will be basically generated for you so now let's go back to figma now the first thing we need to do over here in figma is to make sure we change this into a developer mode we need to make sure we're in developer mode then we can go ahead and then start converting or exporting this into code the figma project so come here at the top here it's next to the share button just click on that and then automatically i've actually go ahead i've actually enabled the developer mode now once the developer mode is turned on, we can actually come here. This is the entire frame for this project. So I can select this or you can just go to plugin first. So let's go to plugin and search for plugin. So the first plugin we're going to look for is called Animal. So search for this plugin. Just type this. Just type this plugin. If you don't have it, type it. You need to first install this plugin. So you need to first make sure you install this plugin. I have already done that, so I don't need to install it. So you, in your case, we have to install this and then go ahead and log in for the first time now if this is done we need to generate the code over here at the moment i've not selected anything so it's not going to generate the code for me so let's go ahead and select the entire frame here so we click on this at the moment i've selected everything here meaning everything every individual for a half on my frame here has been selected as you can see the entire 10 and a half year has been selected we're going to give figma some time to organize and generate the file for us so you can see it's going to generate HTML plus the css file for us there are some other file extension where i'm going to show you after this is done so let's wait for this to be generated as you can see we have our file actually generated over here you can see we have it if you can scroll down you see we have all, everything well organized you can copy this code or we can download it the best option is to download because it's going to have your image and everything well organized for you you can see we have other file over here you can actually generate this as a react file or view file so we just want this css and then html so let's go ahead and click on download we're going to download this entire file now so click on download it's going to take some time to do this so we're going to wait now we need to save this file to a location of our choice so let me just you can rename this to any name of your choice so let me just leave this like this and then click on save okay i think i have a file with the same name okay so let me just name this figma okay so this is my figma file so i'm just i'm going to click on save now this file will be saved into the download folder so let's go to download folder and then this is the file i had named as figma let's extract this go ahead and click on extract this file has been extracted now this is it we open it and you can see our files are well organized within this folder if i go ahead and do this you can see i have my image file i have my global css for have css and everything organized now this is the index page which is going to show the first page for us so if i open this So you can see i have everything now the file extension is .hmo everything here is generated for me and i can open this in my browser okay now this contain the code actually the code is here so if you have any favorite code editor you can open this file in your code editor and then your favorite code editor and you can do modification to that as well if you want to change images as well you have them in this image folder you have everything within your image folder which you can actually do modification to okay so this is the first file and you we are using any more plugin to do that now the second plugin is called auto html so that's the second way to do that we're going to use another plugin called auto html so i'm just going to type auto okay, the plugin so we're going to look for another plugin called auto html and this is the plugin i'm just going to select this so for first time you may 
upon to log in you may have to log in so if you have not logged in just make sure you log in for the first time before you proceed so i'm just going to click on confirm here and i've already selected everything i have here on my frame everything has been selected so it's going to go ahead and then try to generate the code for me let's wait so as you can see the auto html also generated went ahead to generate the entire file for us so you can see i have my files well organized over here both the html and the css so you can copy this but i would advise you to just go ahead and then download click on download zip file and it's going to organize everything for you the same way and then all you need to do is to go ahead and then modify files that you really want to modify and then you can go ahead and then do that so you can get the css and whatever so basically this is the second way to generate or convert figma to code so this is the second way to do that the last one is actually also a plugin so i'm going to show you how to do that so so the last one is also a plugin and it is called figma to code so just search for figma to code if you type figma to code under plugin so this is basically the plugin we're going to use so just select that already you can see i've selected the entire frame over here and it's going to generate the code for you it's going to generate the entire code convert this figma project into code so you just have to wait so as you can see we've been able to generate this as well using the figma to code so it's actually generated the entire code for us all we need to do is to go ahead and copy this code and use it wherever we want to use like subscribe for more videos like this i'll be doing more videos on figma and other editing software and programming so like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you try for more video and don't forget to turn on post notification till i come away again bye bye